can you show us something? Is it something that, I mean, that this, this is primarily for age 10 plus kids. So <laughs> I imagine there's a lot of math there that's not very accessible, but yeah. is there, is there something that you can show us that would give us a, a little idea about what you're doing? Yeah, definitely. So I study at Apollonian circle packings. To explain what an Apollonian circle packing is, it's best if I show you how you construct one. So when you create an Apollonian circle packing, you start out with three mutually tangent circles, and then you put in the two circles that are tangent to all three of these circles. And then you can put in another circle into each one of these little gaps here. like so, and then you can continue doing this over and over and over again until you get something called an Apollonian circle packing. What do those numbers mean? Great question. So the label on each circle is called a bend. So the bend here is one over the radius of each circle. You might also um, you might also hear bends called curvatures. It tells you how curvy or how much a circle kind of curves. The small so smaller circles seem to have bigger numbers in them. Right. Exactly. Okay. Oh, and one over the radius. So this is a fraction. So one over 21, that means that it's got a small radius, but it's actually the biggest radius that we see there. Right. Right. And what does a minus 11 mean? That's a good question. I'll get to that in a few. Um, so do you have any other observations of the, about the numbers that you see here? Let's see. I can't read them. <laughs> I'll need glasses. Um, so I see a 21, a 24, a 28, a 40, a 52, a 61. Do I have any decimals or fractions here? No. So are these all rounded off numbers? No, they're actually all integers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like all of them are integers in this case. That's, I wouldn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's really, really cool. So, of course. Is, is that for any choice that I begin with? No, that is not. I, that is not for any choice. This is especially chosen arrangements of circles. So how could you have chosen so carefully <laughs> so to make sure that those infinite number of circles are all integers? Yeah. Um, let me get to that. Um, there's actually, so Apollonian circle packings have been studied for centuries to the extent that there are poems written about them. Poems. Yes. Oh, I, I have to go and see one of those poems sometime. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's actually see an excerpt from one of them. <laughs> okay. So, there's this poem called The Kiss Precise by Frederick Soddy. Um, this was published in Nature. Yeah, Nature actually published poems way back when in 1936. <laughs> These are the second and third stanza, stanzas of the poem. Four circles to the kissing come, the smaller are the benter. The bend is just the inverse of the distance from the center. So that's pretty much saying that the bend is one over the radius. Um, though there intrigue left Euclid dumb. There's now no need for a rule of thumb. 
since zero's zero bends a dead straight line. So what it's saying is if you have a line, uh, the bend of that is zero. Okay. And, and it also says, the next line says, and concave bends have minus sign. So remember how you were commenting on ah, the minus sign? Right. It, it means that instead of being touching like on the outside of the circle, all those circles are touching on the inside of it. Right, right, okay. Okay, and then the last two lines here, the sum of the squares of all four bends is half the sum, uh, half the square of their sum. So the sum of the squares of all four bends is half the square of their sum, which leads you to have an algebraic equation. These are for the circles that touch, the four that touch. Yes. Any four that touch. Yes. Right. Any four that all touch each other. If B1, B2, B3, B4 are bends of four mutually tangent circles, then you have this equation. And if I multiply both sides by two, I end up getting Descartes circle theorem. So this is the same Descartes that we've named the Cartesian coordinate system after. Okay. And, and uh, Descartes came up with this or Apollonia, Apollonius came up with this? Uh, Descartes was the one who wrote down the equation. <laughs> Okay. Apollonius figured out the whole, if you had three circles that were mutually tangent, then you, you can have find exactly it. two that touch those. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yep. Beautiful equation and yep. beautiful circle patterns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can use this to show that all the bends in that packing that I showed you are actually integers. It takes a bit of work, but for, for mathematicians, it's really interesting and it's really cool to see why they're all integers. I'm just thinking about those two zero parallel lines. Mm -hmm you probably can get an infinite freeze pattern that either repeats or doesn't repeat. Is that true? What do you mean by repeats or doesn't repeat? Well, for example, this freeze pattern, the 141400, this would, this would be a freeze pattern if you kept on going. Mm -hmm. And this would be one that would have mirror symmetry. Mm -hmm. um, and it would repeat. Oh, or does it repeat? Um, it would repeat. It does repeat. Because let's see if I can draw. Um, if I extended this line over, I can do this, draw the circle here. But do you have to draw that one? It's not forced, right? It's not forced, but let's say it. The other ones are forced whenever you're dealing inside a circle. It's forced, right? Yeah, so you and can... And those ones are forced that you're drawing now, the, the, the little ones. Yeah. yeah, so the big one, it is kind of forced in the way of... Um, I want it to be touching the two lines. Okay. And um, that other circle there. Got it. Okay, so it is forced. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, at least if I'm doing filling it in in the Apollonian circle packing way. Right. There's other ways to create circle packings with interesting properties. That's a pretty good circle you just drew. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's not a good circle, but yeah. <laughs> okay. You can keep on filling in the circles and... But the point is, it does repeat. Right. Right. And you went to engineering first. Now, this, is, this I wasn't expecting. 
<laughs> so tell me more. How did you go astray? <laughs> uh, let's start with something else. I actually thought I was going to be an engineer, a civil engineer since I was in third grade. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was fascinated with bridges. I still am. Like, I will geek out if I see a bridge of any historical significance or any interesting design. Like, yeah, I will geek out, let's say, on the Brooklyn Bridge. Like, yeah. <laughs> right. um, and I wanted to, I wanted to design um, bridges and everything. So 